All women playing pickleball must watch this video because all women over the age of 50 are more susceptible to fractures. What's up everybody? Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit, home of the belly burn. Now this video came about to me because I was recently playing in a pickleball tournament. Now this pickleball tournament was probably one of the bigger pickleball tournaments or tournaments I've ever seen. And I've been in tournaments before and I've never seen over 110 participants. Now I'm 42 years old and the average person at this tournament that we played against were at least 55 to 60 years old. Mind you, this was one of the higher ranking in the tournament, so it was a 3.5 to a 4.0. A 4.0 is basically a perfect player, a 2.0 is a beginner, so we were kind of in the more advanced level. And I was playing this one team in particular, and when I personally play, I like to move people around. I like to, you know, make them move, like dig, balls down by their feet, really bend, twist, all that kind of things. And I was doing this to this one woman in particular. And the way I looked at it is that I'm the newbie when it comes to this tournament, so I just gotta play my best. Mind you, we lost every single game. So I was trying my best to get as many points as we possibly can. So I was moving this woman around with the ball and she was getting it. We ended up winning the point, but in my mind, I had that athletic therapist deep down in me where I was worried about this woman getting hurt because I didn't know her personal history when it came to working out and she had two knee braces on her knee. She stood at the line like this, very not kind of athletic, but I was really worried that this woman was going to get injured. Now nothing happened, they ended up beating us, but I bet you this woman plays anywhere from five to six times a week. Now a new woman, same age, same body conditioning, same two knee braces, I'm really worried about. Which reminds me of another story. When I first started pickleball, I just went to some random rec center and I was playing people of all ages. Now I would say this woman was closer to 60 than she was to 55 and I can tell that she definitely wasn't in the gym in the past maybe two decades and she probably didn't play pickleball. She was a newbie just like me. The ball came and I just like gave it some kind of weird spin it flew up 10 feet in the air, it landed, it spun, and this woman was trying to get the ball, but she was trying to move backwards. And if you don't do any training, moving backwards is probably one of the hardest things that you can do, much less holding a pickleball racket and trying to hit the ball while it's moving towards you. And so this woman ended up stumbling, falling on her butt, and then she ended up bracing herself with her hand, resulting in a fractured wrist. Now I absolutely felt bad, but at the same time, I'm thinking if anybody is looking to get into pickleball, you have to do some type of pre-training. So the most common fractures amongst women over 50 when it comes to pickleball is the hip and the wrist. So why the hip? So if you're playing an opponent and you go for a ball and you move in a direction that you haven't trained or you, you start to use muscles that you don't actually train on a daily basis, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna fall. And most of the falls you're either gonna land onto your your butt, right? Or you're gonna land onto your hip. So one of the most common fractures for women is into the hip. The second most common fracture is into the wrist. Okay, so what happens to the wrist is that you brace the fall so that you don't land on your butt, but unfortunately, your wrist can't handle all the weight, and so what ends up happening is you fracture your wrist. Now, all this could be avoided by preventing a lot of different things, and we're gonna get into another video about it, but I just want you to be aware that these fractures can occur. I wanna see you playing pickleball, but I wanna see you playing it safe and I wanna see you playing it long term. So we're gonna talk into the next video about how we can prevent a lot of these injuries. If you're looking to get into training, you wanna prevent a lot of these aging injuries or you wanna be able to get into pickleball, my recommendation is to visit us at www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn and we'll get you started today.